Well, it's been one year, can you believe it, mm. since Australian icon Olivia Newton-John passed away aged 73 after a brave battle with breast cancer. This weekend, her family is holding Olivia's annual wellness walk to raise money for her cancer wellness and research centre in Victoria. For more, let's bring in Olivia's niece, Totty Goldsmith, in Melbourne. Totty, thanks so much for joining hey, us Totty. this morning. So good to see you. One year without Olivia. How are you and the family doing ahead of Sunday? Well, we're doing great. It's really good having Chloe here. I spent quite a bit of time with her and that's just such a good feeling because it just makes Olivia here even more. Mm. So it's, you know, it's an odd thing. Grief is an odd thing. Yeah. You know, one minute you find most of the time I'm fine and just thinking about her and what I can do and then every so often I just get triggered and it hurts deeply and I miss her so much. Mm. Um, but good, we're good and we have this purpose and that's really important. Is Chloe yeah. holding up okay? Yes, yeah, she's amazing. She amazes me. You know, she's vulnerable and she's had a great loss, but she has an incredible strength underneath that and she's a real warrior woman and she's just... I'm, ju I'm just really proud of her and I can't wait for Sunday to be with her holding hands doing this together. Mm. It was really empty last year without... Olivia, mm. and it would have been beautiful having Chloe, but it was way too soon after Liv leaving us. And so this year we're, we're just, we're ready and it's going to be amazing having her there. It's so good to see just how positive you are, Toddy, at the moment. As you said, it's been that one year and, and, and this Sunday is all about honouring that legacy because we know just how important this wellness walk actually is and, and the amount of people it can help. Yeah, that's right. It was so important to her because in her cancer journey, she had to outsource all of these therapies that could support her body and her mind and her spirit. And it was like oncology massage and, mm. and acupuncture. And she had her own music therapy and, her, and she did her own art therapy and all these sorts of things. And she's brought all of that into the wellness centre because there's a lot of anxiety with, um, with a cancer diagnosis and going through this treatment. And it's so helpful to be doing creative things with other people. It, and the acupuncture is just such a, a huge part of it in the massage. So, and we can actually, if people are too sick, we can and take it up into their up into their rooms which is just beautiful um, and it's really important it helped her enormously going yeah. through her treatment so, through her her journey yeah. you know yeah. I, I remember one of my fondest memories uh, of working um, and, and knowing Olivia was walking around that wellness center mm. and just the difference um, she made by just walking in a room I mean and she had that effect on people yeah. she hadn't even met um, and so to continue that legacy is just so important for those who are suffering well, do you know, I've, I've done lots of those going through the hospital with her because she had me in training. And then um, going through it with Chloe last year was just beautiful. It lights up their day because yeah. they're long days in there and often they don't feel great. And having someone to come in and, and listen to them and talk to them about what they're going through and talk to them about the facility and how they're feeling in the facility and you can see them just light up and it's beautiful and it's the most supportive place they could be i can't tell you most people just want to stay there instead of going home stay there right through their journey because it is so supportive and the staff are incredible and the whole setup is just beautiful. Yeah. You're a beautiful lady, uh, wow. and continuing this legacy is just awesome. We love you. Thank you so much for being on our show. And to sign up for Walk, head to walkforwellness.com.au. Thank you, Toddy. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?